Levi here with Uphill Cinema. Today we're going to talk about the amazing Kessler quick release system. If you haven't heard about these, are you crazy? Oh wow! The older I've gotten in my filmmaking career, the more and more I've kind of turned to love products and services that make life easier, that are dependable, reliable, good investment products. And that brings me to this amazing little receiver and the plates and accessories that coincide in this amazing ecosystem. Because for me, this makes life easier, it's reliable, travel the world with me in the version one and in the version two, this is a good investment. So if you're not familiar with Kessler Crane, they have been around forever. They were kind of some of the first companies really in the DSLR revolution to really come out swinging. They had cranes, they had sliders, they had dollies, and so many options for filmmakers to really, uh, you know, get the shots you want and need. Probably the biggest leaders in motion control and have been for many, many years. And, you know, they've really made them a, a big name for themselves coming up in the filmmaking world. And so if you're not familiar with them, this is a, like a staple product for them. And it's something that is just a time saver, a life saver, and uh, something very, very reliable. What is the quick release system and some of the optional accessories? Well, in a nutshell, it's a quick release system. You've probably seen different types of quick release systems in the past, but what makes this one so different is the insane amount of strength, the build quality, and the tons of different options in the ecosystem. So if you buy just the receiver, it will go with any Arca Swiss plate that is an Arca Swiss compatible. So that can fit in, you lock down the camshaft in the back, and you're ready to go. So I wanted to go through just literally the actual receiver plate itself. And it's super, super easy to use. It's got this nice locking mechanism in the back and it has a good like lock, if that makes sense. There's, it's not like, I don't know how they've done it, but it's not one like round bit here. It actually kind of stops and then you know, locks into place. And then this literally is the button to release the plate itself. The good thing is, is if you have a mat box and rails and things of that nature, you don't really want to slide your thing in because you have that mat box in the way. That's where Kessler's is just the best. It literally just snaps into place and that sound means you're good to go. And then from there, you just lock it down and that thing is not moving. To get it out, and do the latch, push forward here, and get it right out. The other thing is, is they have a bunch of different style receiver plates. The one you just saw was the regular plate. They also have the long XL plate, gives you a lot more travel. And you can lock it down anywhere within that, and it still is super secure. And all the plates are tapped. So you can put different accessories and things on it, not just cameras. In fact, that's what I'm doing down here is it, their uh, low profile head is on a regular plate and it's just snapped in to uh, this V1 edition, as you can see right here. So it's nice because I can literally just snap, line it up. I think that's how I had it and boom. Now I've had this plate too down here for, I don't, I don't even know how long, many, many years. Right when they came out with them, I bought a bunch. Another plate they have is this little small plate and same principle, catches and lock it down. Undo it. Take it out. So let's say you want to mount your camera to like a stabilizing arm in the back of your camera. Well, you could mount this to the top of the arm, the plate to the top of the arm, this to the bottom of the camera, because look how big this one is. It has all these different options for quarter 20s, uh, 
uh, three eighths, uh, full pass through, uh, tons of different options. Snap it in, you got good sliding, lock it down, and that thing is solid. I mean, look at that, it's like a, it's like a little puck. <laughs> Amazing, this thing is incredible. Take it off, boom, you're onto it. This is called their utility plate, and this plate, you literally can mount anything you want on it. Quarter 20s, 3 8 uh, uh, all the way pass-throughs. There's a ton of things that you can do. And so one thing that I actually did with this plate is I ended up uh, using it because uh, you could. it has pass-throughs, pass-through screws that it comes with. And so I ended up using one of these plates to mount two microphones for an interview I did. And I just mounted it on this exact setup and the microphones were split and I could get two audio tracks in one spot. So nice small footprint with Kessler sliders and their actual um, products, these fit with their products really well. They fit perfectly. So this is their utility plate. This plate is almost identical. It's called their slider plate. And what it is, is you can actually mount your sliders directly to this plate from the bottom. It does have quarter 23 eighths on the bottom as well, but, um, and on the top, but you can mount directly your slider. And it's so nice, because then you can just snap it right on and it's such a low profile you, boom, you're off to the races. Instead of having to thread your slider or dolly onto something, um, this is so nice. So you can just mount it straight to your slider. Like I said, come with these screws, mount it straight to your slider, and boom, you're good to go. Snap it in, lock down, good to go. Let me show you my favorite series of plates called the Kessler Quick Stand. Now, why is it my favorite? Well, hopefully you can see it's a little different. It's got these little feet on the side. So when you actually set your camera down, it's not gonna be tipping. And it is so extremely nice and convenient. But what about those quarter 20s in the front? And what if I want a bigger camera on there? Or, you know, that looks like a relatively smaller plate. Well, that's what's so awesome is they actually come in bigger plates. This is their large plate. That was their small, medium style plate. This is their large, and then they have even an extra large, which I use on my Ursa Mini Pro. And then they have a 15 mil rod adjustment here, so you can put your rods out. And this setup right here is like perfect for the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera. It literally, uh, goes over it perfect and like almost feels like it was made for it. And it even has a quarter 20 threads on the, on the sides here on the larger sizes. And like I mentioned before, if you have these on all your cameras, you can just go right in, snap in, boom, you're good to go. Come out. I mean, I mean, come on, this is so stinking awesome. I absolutely love it. What's so nice too is all the different mounting options on these plates. You can mount directly down through to your slider, your jib, uh, anything um, that you need to mount down to and connect this down to, and then, or something comes up and connects up to it. Uh, Kessler has a ton of different accessories like cranes and motion control dollies that they have actually pre-cut the holes that it lines up perfectly with their products. For example, this is just a, you know, a grip stand, a dolly stand, and this is a uh, 3 8 adapter. And you can just pop that in, right down there, start spinning, boom, line it up, and bam, good to go. Now let's say you need a heavier payload and you need a lot more like motion control uh, motors and a full fizz system. Well, that's where the K plate comes in place. You can see it's thicker, it's heavier. Um, it comes uh, with the ability to put rods right through. Now it doesn't come with the rods, but these are Kessler rods and they're extremely nice and they're threaded too so you can 
build it out as long as you need. And this just so nicely snaps right in, crank down, now you're good to go. And that's what I mean. Kessler just knows, knows their stuff. They've been doing this forever. Now, what if you have a longer uh, lens package and you know the good old, the lens starts to get kind of front heavy and things start to tip forward. And that's what I mean. They've thought of things like that. That's where you can get your little bracket here that they have. It's their, uh, I think they call it their kickstand. And it even has like little rubber feet and you can slide it on here, crank down, crank down, and now your system won't wobble. If you have 19 mil rods, it works with 19 mil rods, or if you need it a little higher, you can flip it. So let's say you need more mounting options than these two, the quarter 20 and three eighths. They actually make this little bracket that can go right up against the K plate. Let me put it on here. Now you have a ton of different mounting options and the bottom two right here, I'm not sure what size these are, but they're actually even locking where you can actually clamp down on that thread. So you can get just an insanely good bite. You can see now though, you just have all of these mounting options. Um, if you're like a red Komodo user, this is like the perfect little size um, to have tons of different mounting options. And like I said, it goes right in to the quick release and good to go. So let's say you have one of these style plates. I can't stand these. I literally, they drive me nuts. You want to get nuts? Come on, let's get nuts. Uh, I just want to be able to snap in. See, you can't snap in. So if you have anything in front or back, it's not gonna allow you the ability to get anything on. Um, so they're super limiting and I don't know, just, I can't stand them. So to convert this, you just get your Kessler uh, quick release receiver, screw the plate directly onto the receiver. You put this on here, Crank this down. You're ready to go. So this is another accessory that I absolutely love with the quick release system that isn't technically part of the quick release system family, but it kind of is. So for example, these three screws, you can literally take this pin out, this uh, 3 8 out and bolt directly on to your quick release plate. So how I like to do it is get the low profile head and the quick release plate and screw it directly down onto the plate because these are all tapped. All the plates have uh, three eighths and quarter twenties and they're all tapped. And that way you can just snap it right in, crank down and then you're good to go. Now you could literally mount this on to a lot of different things. Um, from here, I'll mount another plate on it, line up my shot, do what I need to do. And this can hold just a ton of weight. Um, so this is what I usually do. Here's another accessory that works so well with the quick release system. It's the Kessler HD angle plate. And so you can mount it directly to your tripod or directly to a quick release plate or something like that, or the slider. If you have a Kessler slider, you can actually mount it from the top directly down. And so I just have it on a plate here to just snap it in super fast. And it actually has this little break here. So you're able to level and lock off your shot and tighten it there and it's not moving. And then I have it right here on top of it, another quick release plate. The other thing is this can hold 50 pounds. So it can hold a big massive payload. Nowadays when you're doing a shoot, a lot of times it's nice to be able to hurry and get it on a portrait mode. And so here, you know, snap in the camera, easy peasy, lock it down. And then let's say, okay, you need to line up the shot a little more, you know, line it up. 
press your cord, boom, get your shot. And now let's say the director or yourself want to get something for portrait mode. You undo these locking cams here and lift up, lock it down. Let's say you need to angle it even more. And boom, you can get your shot. That easy, that simple. It's absolutely something that I'm using a ton just because that's where the market says they need content for it. And so it's something that I love. And the fact that you could put a red on here, uh, Ursa Mini, a Alexa, uh, Alexa LF, you know, you can put a lot of cameras and it's as simple as unlock. I just kind of hold it here, unlock, though it doesn't tip. That if that makes sense, it won't, it's, it's, it stops. And then boom, lock your cams back down. Undo that there. Get your shot, press your cord, get your shot. Quickly unlock, 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 lift up 90 degrees, 90 degrees, get your next shot. I mean, how awesome is that? And the fact that you can put any camera on here pretty much. So to me, that's a game changer, something that I absolutely love. So HD plate, can't recommend it enough. And it works so well in this ecosystem. Now, got my camera, I'm gone. Oh, on here, I'm just right back to shooting. So. HD plate, absolutely awesome. I think the biggest thing you can take out of this video is the fact that the ecosystem is just flawless um, and that you're gonna have a good investment. Uh, not something that in a year or two you're gonna want to upgrade. It's something that you're gonna buy it and use it for the rest of your life. So that's a good investment where a lot of things in the camera and film world can be actually kind of crappy investments because in like six months are already outdated. And so these things are just fantastic investments. I know what you're saying. You're so smart.